guys welcome back to the AT customs video today we'll be looking at my 1 over 60 scale strike Gundam all right so this kit is a non-grade kit this is the second part of the episode uh, I did a custom chest armor and also the skirt armor all right so I'll be talking about this too uh, if you guys are interested in the shoulder cannon and the um, rocket launcher on the shoulders and also the arm armor you guys can check out my previous video which I'll be talking about that okay so this is actually a work in progress that I'll be I, I'm doing for uh, GBWC this year or maybe next year okay so let's get to it okay guys so this is basically the torso of the Gundam so what actually I what I did basically is I used a saw a hobby saw to saw this two in half uh, why did actually I do this is mainly because I want to extend the body uh, make it slightly long taller because I feel that this Gunpla or this Gundam itself since this is a non-grade is an older uh, kit as you can see from the picture over here this torso part seems to be very very short Imagine if let's say my fingers is like this, I don't move it, you can see it's almost the same size as the crotch So I feel that this is way too short Instead of extending the legs, I feel the legs is actually just right height But the torso is actually way too short So this is basically what I did I cut it into half And then bring in the sandpaper and sand it down slightly Because I cut it quite smooth, or quite straight, so I guess I don't have to make much uh, job to it. Okay, so all I need to do now is glue them back together, but added some paddings in between it, in between it. Okay. Okay, so this is a plug plate that I'll be using to make the height adjustment. So what I'm gonna do is just place the part that I want on the plug plate and just just simply trace out a shape okay and Next, what you're going to do is you need to cut this out from the plug plate. Okay, so you guys seen just now I traced this um, this part down here. So all I need to do now is follow back the line by using a plastic scriber or a plastic cutter. Okay, so all you need to do is just follow back the line. You don't have to be too precise because later on you need to sand it down and trim it so most important thing you just need to get a size of course it is better if let's say your plug plate is really uh, pretty small so it's actually way more uh, easier less, less job you need to do Okay, if you guys realize why I'm actually doing like this instead of a whole stroke, it's mainly because it's easier for me to control a small part. And I don't really need a clean line in the sense. So what I'm doing is just, uh, I would say save time for me. And you don't have to be too precise, so yeah. So this is pretty messy job. All you need to do is a lot of patience and once let's say you have made it um, how to say cut it more you can actually just snap it off whereas for mine I have not reached that point yet so. tear it out and then here since you already cut it um, at least half 
so you can just snap it so this part will come up so all you need to do is align this up and then glue it together and then set it down and smoothen the surface I think that's about it it's pretty easy but for my case I need to have uh, two layers of plot plate okay so basically I've gradually cut a two plot plates that has a random size that actually could fit this part right so what I'm gonna do now is take the super glue and put it the part that where it should touch the plot plate you guys can use a super glue or plastic cement it's fine it depends on you guys what you guys always use but as for me I always like to use super glue except for uh, instead of plastic cement unless it's for seam line removal then I normally use the plastic cement alright so what I'm going to do is align it make sure every part of the body is in the plot plate okay so everything is correct so all you do is just wait it to cure for a bit and as you can see I can actually carry it up this way already but still need to be very careful because it's not fully dry yet so I can still align it properly the way I want it okay and then it'd be handy if you guys have uh, clips like this uh, of course you guys can use a hobby clip or this is for clothes but it actually does work so just clip it like this and just leave it to dry uh, and come back to it when it's dry of course if you guys want to be safe you guys can still dab some glue over here to make sure the bond is um, strong enough okay so all of this depends on you guys what uh how paranoid you guys are but as for me i it's better to be safe than sorry right so add a little bit extra is better and another reason why i don't use plastic cement that much is because super glue is way cheaper than the plastic cement and i just hate waiting so yeah super glue it is right so just let it dry and i'll come back later Okay, so it's already 5 minutes, so the glue is supposed to be dry, so you can see now it's very hard, I can't even take it apart. So, uh, what I'm going to do is use a plastic nipper, or one of course, just snap out any extra bits and pieces that you're not using anymore. This step is very important. Um, you guys could actually also stick both and then just uh, trim it later. But I prefer to use this way is because uh, my plastic piece is not really that big. So it's actually better for me to cut it down to size and it's easier for me to align this later on. Right? So here is a bit jagged. So I could just take my what's it called? A sanding stick. Where are my sanding sticks? Ah, I think I just use sandpaper. Okay, so I can just use my sandpaper and just sand it down slightly. Alright, just something rough will do. So that this part is actually uh, smaller so that I can align with this piece over here and for this front piece here I don't really need it to be that big mainly because this part is supposed to be hollow so most probably I'll be cutting more into it later so all I have to do is the same thing Put super glue 
get the edge but I think it's quite okay because once you put it together it will squeeze and it will ooze out from the side so all you need to do is get a nice view at angle and line it as perfect as you can I'm just worried that I get my fingers glued. Okay, so this will do. Oops. Okay, it's aligned. So what I'm gonna do is wait again. Pretty simple thing, but a lengthy process. So I'll just let it hang for a while. Hold it firmly, then clip it into place. Okay, so just wait until it's dry. Okay guys, so basically it's dried and I've actually did some sanding all over it. Uh, it's not perfect but I think it's good enough. So what I'm going to do now is assemble back the part and let's see if it's all fit. Even if it does not fit, I, it's fine with me too but let's just make sure it fits. Okay, and then the armor, top part here. So most of the parts still fits and then this part down here ooh. Right. So as you guys can see it actually fits perfectly So what are the things that won't fit anymore basically is this part over here Unless I trim this, this thing down later so this is followed by a poly cap which I need to just uh, okay, connect the poly cap here and close it so you can't close because there is this uh, plastic here I think or am I wrong? yeah I think I'm wrong yeah you can still, you can still close it right so the next thing that you won't be able to fit is this part over here it's mainly because this thing here this pack here is supposed to go in here and the plastic is actually covering up that part right so if i really want it to fit i need to just chop this part off and it should work after this right actually it does work because the main thing is that this part here, there is actually one more pack up here that can hold it instead of just the bottom one. So the bottom one, I just cut it off. And then just put it in. And voila, it's done. So your Gundam torso is actually uh, thicker. So not thicker, I mean taller. So it's really quite an easy fix. I think most of you guys could also do this. It's a very very simple tutorial. So hope it helps you guys. Uh, and this part I don't think so it fits anymore. How mm, does this thing go here? Yeah. Yeah, actually I think it still fits. So yeah, it still fits. So everything fits, it's just this part here that is exposed that is not so nice. So if you guys want it to be nice, you guys can just add some putty here and just set it down and it will be good to go. But as for mine, I'll be making it to a dual Gundam so most of these parts will be covered anyway so it doesn't really matter to me. But it's just good to know that it actually does extend, able to close up everything. Okay? so. Next part is I'm going to start making the custom armor, right? 
okay guys so now I've actually uh, assembled this as it is so currently I'm gonna do the assault shroud armor which I'm gonna do the side one here first so what I actually I do is that I will just measure it out first so for example this part over here I just measure it into a straight line so just measure it up and then I cut it up on a piece of paper right something like this so this is the paper that I cut out according to the measurements and then I did a manual cutting on the side here to let's say um, give it slight of a effect I mean a design not to say just a big slab of something so I've done that on a piece of paper and I just test fit it here and make sure that everything is fine so once this part is fine what I do is that I use this as a template to cut out from the plot plate right so this is basically the plot plate that I've cut for this piece over here right so what I do is that I add in a sticky tag over here and stick it here so you will know that how it looks but of course I should assemble this part here too okay. all right so why actually I use this part is because um, it's easier to have something to align this piece so this piece, the straight part, is also aligned with this grey part so that it is more, how to say, um, straight, I guess. So, just put one here, flip it the other way around, and another one over here. So, there you get it, the top part of the armor. Of course, this is not the final product, but um, it's a way to go. And then, I made the front part here too with plat plate. Basically, it's a very simple shape, which is just an L shape. But of course, this I also did uh, measure out this part of here using the same method, which is cutting out a piece of paper and then just keep cutting, trimming the paper to make sure it fits, and then use it as a template for your plot plate. That way, you will save a lot of time then, uh, cutting the plot plate because this plot plate is very thick, so it actually takes a lot of time to, to cut it. So, yeah, this is actually my method. I'm not sure if this is the correct way, but this is my method. Because I do not want to waste any more plot plate, because I don't think I can get any more plot plate uh, until this uh, quarantine is over, or this lockdown is over. So, I need to conserve whatever plot plates I have. Okay. So, yeah. This is basically how it should look like. But of course, this part is still empty, which I need to add another piece of this plastic up here and then later sand down and add some details to it, including here. I should add one detail, something like this, and cover it to the side. Right, so I'll just work on that later on. Right, so let's go to the next step. Okay guys, so this is how it looks like after I prime the parts. Of course, certain parts are still quite rough, but I'll be doing more uh, cleaning up later on. Alright, so I'm just going to go through the review. Okay. So as you can see from the work in progress, what actually I did on this kit is actually I extended the waist section to make this kit slightly taller. Alright. And then other parts that I didn't show in the video is that I chop off the crotch part down here because the crotch of the 1 over 60 strike Gundam is actually very thick. So um, before I chop it off, it's actually around, I think around here, as long as the skirt. So as I look at some images of a dual Gundam, the middle part of the skirt is actually quite how to say uh, higher up not too slow right so which is why I cut it up and this is how it looks like I still feel that the skirt armor is um, I would say something is not right but I think I'll just add it on later on 
Okay, so most of the skirt armor is by plot plate. Um, this armor over here is articulated, as you can see, and I've actually disconnect the connection from the skirt armor to the uh, middle section here. Currently, it is actually connected to the top part. If I, if you see other images of a dual Gundam, the uh, What's it called? The skirt actually is connected to the top part, not to the side. And connecting to the side, it actually looks pretty weird on a dual Gundam. So that is why I changed it. So I'm still reusing the skirt armor from a from the non-grade strike. But of course, some changes. Alright, before I talk about the skirt, I'll talk about the crotch. The crotch part over here is basically a full scratch build uh, part except for this part over here the front one is actually from a 1 over 60 scale non-grade strike uh, no non-grade uh, axia which i previously uh, customized so this is a leftover part so i use that part on this kit all right so let's disconnect the part so to disconnect it simply just pull up this way it's actually connected by this uh, plow plate over here there is a hole on top of the crotch here that I just slot this in alright so let's just look at the skirt armor over here so what that I do is actually very simple make a uh, what's it called a hinge on top here so it could articulate like a dual Gundam supposed to be but I would say that this part over here should be bigger. This part over here also should be bigger until the side. But then again, this skirt does not fit the dual Gundam. Even though it looks quite similar, but somehow I still feel it's not the same. Right? So I actually add in a big plow plate, cover up the whole top, and then add in another plow plate for details, and add another plow plate for the top here, which I'm going to paint it white in the final product. But still looks pretty weird and then i add in these details behind here behind here is basically i um just glue in a uh, perfect grade strike inner frame i actually have a perfect grade um what's it called red frame a stray red frame and as you guys know a stray red frame is actually uh built from a strike uh what's it called a strike um, armor originated from a strike so there is a strike runner in the perfect grade, um, grade frame. So these are the leftover arm runners from it. So I just use it for this kit. Right? Just cut some parts and then just glue it in to add in these additional details. So I would just say there is a few issues that I see is that the um, skirt tends to open up. You see, there's like an A shape. It's supposed to be straight. And then if it's straight, I feel that this part is just too slim. I think it's supposed to be slightly thicker. So, yeah. Maybe I need to redo this whole part in the future. So, but for now, I think I just leave it first. Maybe I'll just go to this once I complete the other parts like the legs and etc. Okay. So, this is the front. Okay, so the crotch, I'll just remove it. Okay, so the crotch basically it's a full plow plate build there's still some scratches so this is still pretty rough i'm actually using plow plate most of the parts actually every part except for this part right so i think there's nothing much that i can say but maybe i need to redo this or maybe discard this never know all right then the side skirt Side skirt is actually the latest one that I made today. The other parts actually I made other parts. So the side skirt looks like this. It's actually very very different than the strike one. I'll just take the strike one. Give me a moment. Okay, so this is basically the strike one. So as you can guys, as you guys can see, it is actually very very thick, right? So it don't really goes well with this kit. As you can see, it's so damn long. So I just compare it with the one that I built, right? So you can see the size different. It's very, very a lot of difference, right? So I'm actually making this smaller. I'm not really sure if it's too small or too big, but I think it looks 
just right for now um, but the next step I'm going to do is going to extend the legs uh, this Thai area here one of my friends uh, sh they advised me to extend it so I'm just going to extend it and also remove the seam lines over here that's my next project other than that yeah the next one is actually this rare skirting armor right so this skirting armor as you guys can see it's actually slightly crooked because it's actually just hold on by a small peg of course the final product i'll be gluing this in all right and this articulated too so i'm just going to remove this part so you guys can see so basically this uh back skirt is the non-grade stripe uh skirt except for the middle part this middle part i've actually chopped it off and i use the uh, non-grade axias um, middle part here i think it's the crush armor of the axia and then the top part here i made this uh, hexagonal shape thing right so that's how it looks like and of course again the inner frame for the um from the strike I've also applied it over here and as you guys can see I actually add in this uh, what's it called uh, sticky tag and also this circle hole over here this circle hole over here is supposed to connect to this white plug plate over here right so this one is supposed to connect into this hole and it's supposed to stick it so it's kind of hard to get it uh, aligned and I didn't make any modifications this uh, inner frame somehow fits into this axia crotch here very very well all right but i'm not sure if i should just scratch build the back part here still not really sure but i just like the feeling of i just like the effect of i can able to see the inner frame from the front so i'm gonna paint this uh, maybe gun metal and maybe some detail painting later on so this is it but the front part over here i'm not sure if i still use this or i just discard this and make a new one entirely right and the middle part here also i do not know if i can still use this it still looks pretty weird but i think it's still better than the front okay and then yeah the crotch let me just go back to the crotch okay so the crotch as you can see this is the original strike crotch it's actually very very big and it's down on this here which looks pretty odd to me and if you guys can see it is almost the size of the whole chest before I modify this uh, I would say the torso over here the top part is almost the same size as the crotch and if you guys know strike inside here there is another black uh, and an inner frame that is supposed to be around this long so the crotch is as big as the torso which for me is pretty weird so that is why I chopped off the crotch area and yeah we have this okay so let's see the size comparison I'm not really sure if I did the right thing or not so I hope you guys can tell me and advise me if I, if it looks good or not okay guys so please let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think about my assault shroud armor on my strike how does it look like does it look slightly um how does it looks more like the assault shroud or does it not do you like it or do you hate it um i would say that the skirt actually looks still pretty weird i think this front part over here and it's actually quite loose so I not I think I need to do something to it. Um, maybe just glue it shut and then uh, mask it out for painting later on. Or should I just try to think of a way to make it tighter and better fit? Okay. So this is one thing. But the chest part, I would say I love it. I feel that the chest part actually looks really like the assault shroud. But of course this part is uh, dangling down I actually hold it up by a sticky tag As you guys can see there's a green in there So yeah Most of this part is going to be glued in anyway In the final product And all of these assault shroud parts Are actually removable So I can remove it for painting And attach it on later on So I think that is the good part about my this kit 
and I want this thing to be articulated. This is also one of my uh, thing. Most people build kits for GBWC. Most of the time, they are just statues. Statues are actually pretty good. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's actually very good. Um, especially if you guys are doing like the more dynamic pose. So you want to make sure that the kit can stay the way it is. Then gluing up the joints and make it a fixed pose and make it cool as possible is the best. But as for me, I just like my kit to be posable so that I can take the I mean I can take pictures of the kit with a different different kind of pose. And yeah, so that basically that's my thing. So example like the gun actually is still movable. You can aim it up, down, left, right. And even this uh, shoulder uh, missile prop pods here can be open, which I am afraid to open. Let me just try. Yep, as you can see, it's articulated. You can open it up or close it. But of course, it's not attached properly yet, but it's for testing. So, most of the part, I think I will just do it later on. Okay, guys, so. Please let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about my kit over here. Um, is the chest looks uh, the chest does it look good? And how about the skirt armor over here? I feel that the skirt is still pretty lackluster. I feel that I can still do better. Um, but for now, I think I'll just leave it as it is first, and then I'll work on the leg. And once everything is complete, I will go back to the skirt. Um, to be honest, the skirt is the part that I actually, I would say, um, get overconfident. I thought that the skirt is actually the easiest part of the whole kit, but in the end, it's actually one of the worst because there's no much place for me to mount it, and it's quite hard for me to scratch build this part without putting it on the kit and without this armor. Because if without this armor, I didn't know how much uh, space do I have between this crotch and the armor over here and looking at images of, from the assault shroud the uh, crotch part over here this um, what is it called this skirt over here is actually protruding slightly outwards than this middle crotch here so few of these things I might need to I need to rectify later on so yeah I'll just do that later on once I get the proportions right for the legs but the rest of it, I think it is looking good. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think about my kit over here. Uh, things that I did to this kit. You guys like it or do you hate it? Alright, and what else do I sh should I do to improve it? Is it um, this side skirt is too small or is it good enough? Or something I feel that there's still something like over here there is a gap over here this part of here I think is just way too small the skirt over here is just way too long and too narrow and stuff like that and it's not aligned you see it is splitting out like an A like what I mentioned just now so I feel these are a few issues that I should improve um, but hope to see you guys uh, see what you guys think about my kid over here and see you guys again on the next video which will be about the legs this is the part that i fear the most the legs all right see you guys again next time goodbye guys Yeah.